Back to Black Aphrodisiac by Killian. Stay tuned. This could be good for me. Lately I was feeling like I need a purpose. But when you talk to me. Hey guys, it's Scott here with another fragrance review. Welcome. I'm glad you guys could join me. And today we're going to be talking about the House of Killian, which is a niche luxury house. I can't wait to talk to you guys about this. I can't wait to spray it and to give you guys my impressions on this one. I've been wanting to get this one for a very long time. It's been on my list and I was finally able to pull the trigger and I've been waiting for a good long while. You may or may not know, this is an oriental woody fragrance. This fragrance came out in 2009 by Khalees Becker. So with that being said, let's go ahead and give this a spray and I'll give you guys my first initial thoughts. And just for full disclosure, I've already tested this out a couple times worn it around the house, worn it out in public just to see how it would do in the cold weather. And uh, we'll go ahead and spray it and I'll give you my thoughts, tell you what I found out through testing it, and then we'll go from there, guys. I've got a decant of this, and decant, decant, decant. I wish I had a full bottle, um, and maybe something I'll be looking forward to in the future. But as of right now, decants are the way to go because then you can test it out. And then you know if you want to take some of your hard-earned money and invest it into a really nice luxury fragrance like the House of Killian, or Mason Francis Kirchon or Roja Dove, etc. So decants are the way to go. So here we go. Let's go ahead and spray this on my wrist and I'll give you my initial thoughts and impressions. So right away you get a really big blast of honey and a lot of sweetness. So that tells me this is a gourmand fragrance which are perfect for this time of year when it's cold. These gourmand fragrances really project and really, really, really do well in this kind of weather. Some of these sweet fragrances just don't do good in the summer sun or the high heat. They just become really sickening and kind of cloying. And so this is the best time to wear a fragrance like this. But yeah, right away, this is really nice. I smell vanilla. I smell a little bit of wooziness. But the two things that I really get out of this are the vanilla and the honey. The honey is the star of the show and it's pretty linear. It stays pretty much the same throughout the scent. To me, I don't know what it is. It's not listed in the notes, but I kind of get this cocoa vibe, a little kind of a chocolatey, powdery feeling from it, but I know those things are not, it's not listed in here. But it's just a nice, warming, fruity. The fruit is, to my nose, is toned down, and I know there's cherry listed in the notes. I know there's a hint of raspberry as well. I don't get either one of those. There is a bit of a fruitiness to it. I do smell the floral, but it's just a warming, sweet, nice honey scent. Tobacco is also in this, but it's very light. If you want a nice tobacco scent and you just want to experiment, this is a good one to get because it's just, it's not overpowering or pungent tobacco. But all in all, this is just a sweet vanilla honey scent and that the honey is really the star of this. I've worn it for a couple days now. As far as projection goes, I'd say it's about an arm's length. I know my wife really likes it. She smelled it on me and she had a real good impression of it. My first wearing of it, I really didn't like it. But I will say after the last couple days, it has grown on me. It's very cozy, like a lot of gourmand fragrances, almost cozy like uh, Grand Soir. And I smell nutmeg in here. As far as how long it lasts, Man, I hate saying this, and I don't know what it is, but nothing lasts on me. There are very few fragrances that last. If you've got Embroxen in it, if you've got like Myrrh and Frankincense, those sort of things last on me. All right, so this is getting a little bit smoky. Almost like some incense. Yeah, it's got a... I guess that's why it's in a dark bottle, because it's got a really mysterious warm vibe to it. It's a really good fragrance. Is it a 10? By all means, it's not a 10 to me. To me, this is a high seven, if anything. I, I was expecting a little bit more out of this fragrance, I will admit. I was just so excited to try it that my expectations were through the roof and I thought this one was gonna blow me away when I got it. It's just okay. I much prefer Grand Soir over this one. Would I like to own it? The only reason I'd even want to pull the trigger on this one is just to have it in my collection. I think the bottles are really cool and sleek and I'll put a picture up here in a second. 
but uh, yeah, this is just a really nice fragrance. Okay, let me go ahead and give you guys the notes. I'll put a picture up on the screen so you can see what it looks like, and I'll tell you the notes listed in this thing, so that way you have an idea. All right, Killian, back to black, aphrodisiac, has bergamot on the top, saffron, yep, nutmeg is in this, cardamom, which is in a lot of date scents, uh, coriander, the raspberry, chamomile, which should give this a calming effect, alabanum, honey, cedar, that's where you get that woodsiness, oak, tobacco, the earthy sweet patchouli, almond, vanilla, and labanin, which kind of gives you that leather scent. This comes in a 50 ml, and I know the prices are high. There any, it just depends on where, where you can find them online. You can find this from anywhere from $200 all the way up to $400, depending on where you buy it. So this is a little bit pricey. So would I blind buy this one? You could get away with it because it smells good and it's not pungent or a complex fragrance, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't blind buy it just because of the price. Definitely get a decant from one of your favorite places, Mind Sense Event, but find a place that you like, get a decant, test it out, and see how well it works on you. Because how it works on me is not gonna be how it works on you. So I would wear this again in the winter, the fall, the cooler months, and I would wear this for any occasion. You can wear this to church, you can wear this to the office. Um, it's fun, it's flirty. You can wear it on a date night. So like I said, when I wore it and I sprayed it in the air, my wife really, really dug this scent and I uh, like the sweetness of it. So all in all, it's a linear honey scent with a hint of vanilla, a little bit of tobacco, and uh, those are the stars of the show. So I like it, I'm not in love with it, but uh, it's still fun nonetheless. And thank you guys for staying with me this long. Um, I can't wait to try some more Killian fragrances. If you guys know any good ones, please let me know down in the comments section. I'd like to hear from you. What do you guys think of this fragrance? Have you guys tried this one? Uh, how long does it last on you? Do you guys enjoy it? Let me know all that good stuff down in the comments. Thanks for joining me. Please hit the like button if you got any value whatsoever out of this. Tell your friends, please share the video, and guys, I've enjoyed it. So remember as always to be yourself as long as yourself smells good.